Greeting math scholars, Mr. S here. Today we're going to be taking a look at solving equations and inequalities. Now I'm sure you've seen plenty of videos about solving equations. What I want to give you is something you may or may not have seen, which is a series of steps or checklists to solving these equations and a little bit later inequalities. You can see our steps start with simplify. When we look at simplify, we're talking about anything we can do on one side of the equal sign or the other to simplify, make it look simpler. We're not going to deal with moving sides yet. We don't deal with that until the second step, add or subtract. Once we get to the second step, now we're going to deal, so deal with switching sides. We switch sides using inverse operations. That's opposite operations. So if we want to switch to opposite sides, we use opposite operations. So if we were adding, we're going to subtract. If we were subtracting, we're going to add. Next, we'll get to multiply, divide. Again, opposite sides, so we're using opposite operations, inverse operations. If we were multiplying, we're going to divide. Next, exponent. Again, we're going to be dealing with inverse or opposite operations. This will look a little bit different for exponents. It's going to involve radicals, usually. But in this section, we really won't be getting to these. We'll get to them later. Finally, grouping. Any type of grouping. Again, we won't really be getting to this in this section, but later, when we're dealing with absolute value or square root, for example, we will get to this grouping step. But I wanted to keep it the same checklist for all the sections, so we're actually going to use the entire checklist the entire time. So we look at an equation like this, which is fairly complicated, but not really when we look at our steps. First, simplify. We look at this side of the equation and we can see, indeed, we have to simplify. We've got this 2 times the quantity of x minus 1 plus 3 equals 11 on the other. Obviously, 11, we don't have any simplify. So when we look at this, we have to do distributive property. That 2, we have to multiply it by x and by negative 1. Oh, and I forgot this step. We want to isolate x. So I'm going to circle that so we remember we want x all by itself. So that distributive property is going to give us 2x minus 2 plus 3 equals 11. Now again, we're isolating x, so I'm going to keep on circling it so we remember we're trying to isolate it. So we did our simplify step. But wait a minute. Are we done simplifying? No, we still have this negative 2 plus 3 we need to simplify. You're going to find that some of these steps we're not going to just do once. We actually need to simplify again. So, 2x minus 2 plus 3, negative 2 plus 3 is positive 1. Now, I'm done simplifying. Nothing to do on this side, nothing to do on that side. So we can now go to this add-subtract step. We do have adding 1, so the opposite, subtract 1. So we're going to subtract one here and here. Anything we do to one side, remember we have to do to the other side. Keep everything balanced. When we do that, the 1 cancels out here, leaving 2x. 11 minus 1 is 10, because these 1s cancel out. So are we done with adding subtracting? Yes, we are. We can now move to multiply, divide. Notice here we've got a two in front of that x we're trying to isolate. So we want to do the opposite of multiplying by two. We want to divide by two. Cancel out the twos, leaving x equals five. Now continuing to look at our steps, exponents, we have no exponents, so we don't need to do that step. We have no grouping, we don't need to do that step. But as I said, these last two steps we're really not going to get to until later sections. So we can now make sure, do we have x by itself? That was our whole goal. We do indeed have x by itself, x equals 5. Now if 
we wanted to check this, we could take the 5 and plug it back into the original equation and make sure that it does equal. Okay. But we won't necessarily take the time to do that in this video. As we continue, let's now shift our attention to inequalities. We're going to again go through a series of steps, a checklist to solve inequalities. You will notice the steps are exactly the same. Simplify on one side of the inequality symbol. Add or subtract, we're going to start moving sides using opposite operations. Multiply and divide, again, opposite operations, opposite sides. Exponents, we're again going to do inverse operations. Now what that looks like, we'll get to in later sections. Grouping, we're then finally going to deal with grouping symbols. Again, we'll get to what that looks like in later sections. But let's take this inequality. 3 minus 2x is greater than or equal to 11. Again, we're trying to isolate the variable, the x. Focus all your attention on getting that x by itself. So let's start our steps. Simplify. Do we have anything to simplify on either side of the inequality symbol? If we look at it, no. 3 minus 2x is already simplified. Obviously, 11 is already simplified. So we don't have to do the step case. Next, add or subtract. Now looking at this 3, okay, we are, this is not actually adding, but we want to look at this positive 3 as adding. Hence the opposite of that is subtracting. So we will, I want to keep this blue, subtract 3 on both sides to keep everything balanced. So subtracting 3 will cancel out that 3 on the side of the x. Now again, let's focus on isolating that x. So let's keep on circling it. So we did our step of add, subtract. Do we have any more add, subtract? No, we don't. So let's move on to multiply and divide. We can see we're multiplying by this negative 2. So the opposite of that is divide. But here is the only difference that we have to keep in mind with inequalities. Whenever we multiply or divide by a negative number, that inequality symbol, we have to take it and turn it around. Take it and then turn it around. We are multiplying by a negative 2 here. So opposite of that, we're going to divide by a negative 2. But that is a negative, so we're going to take the inequality symbol and turn it around. So we come below this, so canceling out our negative twos, and we have x all by itself now, turning that inequality symbol around, leaving negative 4. Now as we continue to look at our steps, we did our multiply and divide, no more multiply and divide to do. We don't have any exponents to do, and we don't have any grouping symbols to do. Again, in this section we won't really be dealing with these too much, but we'll see it in later sections. So this is a series of steps, a checklist that we're going to be able to use from the beginning of the uh, subject all the way to the end. And that is solving equations and inequalities. So good luck, math scholars.